Trucker 360 Vision. This is my inaugural reaction. And I got a doozy for you that I'm kicking off. As we get this channel going. A hot up and coming channel. So, if you like what you see, hit that like button. And keep hitting that like button. Also, please subscribe. You know how it is when we starting out these channels. We got to get our subscriptions up. So if you could help your brother get my subscriptions up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because I would like you to stay in tune to what I'll be kicking this channel off with. A show that there were naysayers that didn't have too many good things to say about this. However, with this TV series that I'll be starting off with. Let me just say this here. It stars Kerry Washington. Yes. That beautiful lady from Ray, from Django. Well, she's in this TV series. Scandal. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. You might be one of those that said, you know what? I heard about it. Ain't watching it. Mm -mm, not I. I said the same thing. Because things that were said about it, it, it just didn't pan out for me to watch it. Now, I've gotten some suggestions to say this is something you really want to get into. So, I'm getting into it. And while I'm entertained by it, I'm entertaining you. So, let's start out with the trailer. I like to, you know, kind of get the ins and outs of what this show is all about and everything. And then we go on from there. Hopefully, this lasts more than one episode, okay? I don't know how many seasons it was and how many episodes. And so we're going to get started. Once again, please hit that like button, subscribe, and keep up with your notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, you want to hit that because you want to stay in tune. So without further ado, oh, also, before we even go any further, you see it? Yes. This here, one of my creations that will be up in the store. You'll be able to purchase these. Now, it always doesn't have to say Detroit, but yes, you can have these custom made just for you and your city. And like it says, this is true to fact. I'm so Detroit. And as I zoom in, you'll be able to see, uh oh, camera angle, trying to get it right. You'll be able to see, oh, go over here. Yeah. You'll be able to see <laughs> what makes up the D. Those from the D, you will know. I'm trying to make this the hottest up and coming channel ever. So, now that I've said that, let's get into this trailer and then let's roll right on into episode one of season one. Scandal. He needs a favor. I need to see him. That's not possible. He wants the favor. I do not work for him anymore. So, you tell the President of the United States to make time. Oh, in Washington, D.C., if a scandal is about to break, this is the woman who will make it disappear. Put the guns down. So he can shoot me? Now, the only person who's gonna get shot is me. I got this. Guns down! Olivia Pope. I trust my gut. My oh, gut is what? Uh, Number one. Never mind. Here. We're lawyers, but this is not a law with. firm. Where crisis matters is we make the problems of our client big or small go away. Christ You're going to Camp David to meet with the president. Why? We are friends. You and I are friends. He's the leader of the free world. Your life makes me feel unsuccessful. It always comes down to my gut. My gut tells me everything I need to know. He killed her and ran. Definitely killed her. Wait We're a minute. Hold up. Stop. Why do we even bother voting? The president killed somebody? And she's got to do when you what? deal in damage control. It would be a mistake oh, to think it would be no damage control. In telling lies about the president. Your career is over. It's handled. You can damage your own oh, life. Oh, Olivia Pope she's... fixes things. That's who she is. Wait, you wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Everyone Hold on. in this uh, office uh, needs fixing. Fix How do you fix the president killing somebody? To the left, 
You lie, all bets are off. And then she's talking to him on live TV. Best job you ever had. Wow. Changed lives. Slay dragons because Olivia Pope is as amazing as this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is going to be something amazing. Oh, is the correct path to get in your way? I can have a reporter out here in 20 what minutes. What the hell? Ask him why you are persecuting an innocent Medal of Honor winner. That was me threatening you. ABC's oh. scandal. Oh, no, nah, she's ABC. not to be messed with. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I don't know what y'all were talking about, about this not being something that would be interesting for the one that suggested this to me. The good ones? Oh, yeah, we about to get into this. Hey, <laughs> oh my God. This trucker is, uh, yeah, I'm liking this. So, I'm not going to even waste your time. Come on this journey through scandal with me because I got to see more of this. This might be something that, wow. Um, <laughs> whoo, uh, Olivia Pope, um, yeah. Uh, okay, enough. Episode one of season one. Let's get into it. Alright, we're getting into this because that trailer was hot. Now we got somebody running. Oh, she got a hot date. Harrison, right? Convergent. I can't stay. What are you drinking? I can't stay. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't want you to be weighed up what in this particular drinking? bar. It's like falling face down on a runway. And even though I don't know you, Lord. You're not even paying attention to her. What are you drinking? I can't stay is what I'm saying. I don't do blind dates. It's not a blind date. What? It's a job interview. What are you drinking? Dirty Martini, what do you mean this is a job interview? Okay, you know what, this has been whatever, but I don't do blind dates. You really want to ask me who I work for? Fine, who do you work for? Olivia Pope. Oh, crack your face. Olivia yeah, Pope. pick your lip up. Mm -hmm. Be Olivia Pope. Yeah, Wait. Listen up. <laughs> Shut up. Is this some kind of play to make me stay on this date? Quinn. On blind dates, I like to buy a woman dinner because it makes her more likely to either sleep with me or give me a second date. When I buy you dinner, you'll know I'm interested. Damn, homeboy's smooth. <laughs> this is not a job interview. Wait, I don't, um, I'm confused. Uh, Olivia already told me to hire you. The job is yours if you want it. I mean, because Olivia Pope is as amazing as they say. I'm not a baby lawyer. I'm a gladiator in a suit. You want to be a gladiator in a suit? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You got to say it. I want to be a gladiator in a suit. Uh, yeah, about that. Would you go for that? He, the way he just handled that? Oh, my God. Who the hell is he? Tonight, we're going to get killed. We're $3 million short. So you flaked. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Don't come short with your money, okay? You. Don't worry, they'll take what we give them. Ukrainian yeah, mobsters do not take what you give them. They just shoot you. So we have big... Uh, come up short. Not $3. $3 million. Yeah. Yeah, that gets you shot. Good evening, gentlemen. You got the money? Of course, all three million. We said six. Did we? We did. Oh, a little saucy attitude. Well, it's all the ambassador had on such short notice, so you're just gonna have to take it. Oh, guns out. The rest, we have a deal. That's not gonna happen, Oscar. No. Yet. What's going to happen is you and Vlad are gonna take the three million and leave right now for Dallas ah, to make your flight good. to way more oh, bang for me. your buck. In fact, it may even feel like six once you're there. Oh, you got jokes. Good. He took it. So, since we have a deal, I am going to take what we paid for. Pleasure doing business with you. I thank you. My client thanks you. And I hope to never see you again. Oh, no, that couldn't be from Detroit. Because if you ain't got my money, oh, you're getting coupled to the dome. Hot rocks sold your way. What the hell going on here? Who the hell is he supposed to be? Just take it in. This is Huck. He's our tech guy. He used to be CIA, right? Huh? We're gonna talk about that. Okay. When you hear me, you hear high powered letters and talking about used to be, keep an eye on him. That's Olivia Pope. We're just waiting for pickup. Too much cleavage. Okay. 
It is an honor to work for your law firm. We're not a law firm. We're lawyers, but this is not a law firm. We solve problems. Manage crises, save reputation. Right, of course. It's still... Like superheroes. <laughs> Harrison feed you a line about being a gladiator in a suit? Live. He did, and I am ready to gladiate. You know how to gladiate a diaper change? They bought a baby for three million dollars. Bunny, what did you call you? Thank you. Thank you. When the Russians kidnapped him. They came to her for a kidnapping? Mr. Ambassador, you can take your son back to the consulate and you can never tell anyone about this. The FBI is sick of me. Okay, I'm gonna probably be asking this many times, but who the hell is Olivia Pope? <laughs> Good work, everyone. What? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? That's what I gotta ask. That incoming. You wanna talk to him? Excuse me? Is that blood? You have to help me. <laughs> Somebody oh, has hey, to help hey, me. Hey, stop. My girlfriend. Turn. Go the other way. She's dead. Yep. Welcome to Olivia Pope and Associates. Let, let's, come on. Back out in the street with that. Whatever the hell happened, take that with you. Security. One going out. Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan Sully St. James was injured saving the lives of his entire unit. Not just any war hero. The first living Marine awarded the Medal of Honor for action in any war since Vietnam. Damn, he got a hell of a lot of medals. Here he is with the president. <clears throat> also sexiest man alive, 2010. He gives expensive speeches. He's anti-choice, pro-gun. Okay, uh, okay. What the hell is wrong with her? Who's the dead girlfriend? Paige Montgomery, 27, rich girl. It's on the police scanner. His girl was found dead in her apartment. Three shots to the head. Sully uh, called 911, but took off me. before the police arrived. Hey, no, 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 no. We don't have to. Yeah, what do we, My man. It looks like he did you it. You can't be here right now. First, okay. we interview Sully. Oh, no. No, see, stuff like this, we don't get into that. I don't give a damn what you need. Three shots to the head, you call the police and ran, and then you we can't listen hear. To him, we watch no, him. Oh, buddy. Did you kill her? No, I would never. No. I loved her. In this moment, we are the judge and we are the jury, the media and the public opinion. There was uh, so, so much blood. I didn't know what to do. I it wasn't to come here. <laughs> this is the moment where we decide who he is. Where were you during the murder? I walked at night, stepped into Maddie's pocket. Do you own a handgun? It's inside the military. Mm, mm, mm. Nah, we ain't doing this. If ever you involve you know that's and like you somebody did. dying around you, three gunshots to the head, don't come to me. I'm not your guy. Fine, but I still I'm not your guy. Oh, no. To me to hand an aid. And I hate Republicans. My vote always comes down to my gut. My gut tells me everything I need to know. We're taking the case. Why do we even bother voting? Next, I set the rules. We're going to give you a clean shirt and put you in Stephen's office. They actually are signing up to be accessories after the fact. Because that's what that is. Then I warn them. I always warn them. Do not lie. You lie, all bets are off. Got it? She must be a hell of a fixer. Because, yeah. Get you in an Uber and get the hell out of there. She was my best friend. I'm not convinced. Nah. Why am I not surprised that you're on that? I was sleeping. The U.S. Attorney's Office never sleeps. You told me that once. I was being ironic. 48 hours before you arrest or charge, oh. you realize the blowback you'll get for rushing to judgment on a patriot? The blowback you'll create? Well, yeah. Do you actually have the naive belief that waking me in the middle of the night and threatening me is the correct path? He didn't kill her. My gut says he didn't. Your spidey son. Her gut. You can have a reporter out here in 20 minutes with cameras asking why you're persecuting an innocent handicapped Medal of Honor. Just to be clear. That was me threatening you. Wrong answer. Who the hell hey, is Olivia Pope? Body's still here. Did the morgue take it already? Yeah, I'll just take a quick peek at the crime scene. Not on my watch. You're a real bitch. You know that? I do know that, Wally. Oh, she's very petty. Damn. Yep, she's dead. 
when we do our jobs right, we never need to go to court. And look, the reason we're not- Y'all gonna be in court dealing with him, accessory to the fact. It's about client, big or small. Go After the fact. It's about our client. It's about staying out of jail. He slept with me and didn't call me. I'm getting married. You're getting married. Which is why, as much as I would like to, I can't do with you in the freezer. What do you want? I need you to fast track an autopsy, slip me the report. What are we learning? She got shot three times. Sleep? Don't any of you have husbands, wives, and kids lying? No, gladiators. And suits. <laughs> you keep running that line. We need more. Guy's alibi is water. Bloody clothes, and he's a runner. He oh, killed. What else you need? There, gun was found on the scene. If he has motive, we need to find him for the. I have to step out. I'll be back. We need more. She's trying to make him innocent. So what happens now? If she wants more. You give him more. You do work hard. I give him that. But my man is guilty. What? Hi, hello, how are you? Hi, hello, how are you? What? You didn't ask me here to talk about Sally St. James. Oh, you this is from the trailer. trailer. There's a girl, an aide, going around saying she's sleeping with him. Is she? No, you know him. He's not that guy. I need you to shut her down. I need to see him. No, that's not possible. The man's schedule is insane. He has no time. You tell the President of the United States to make time. Yeah, she got that saucy attitude. But don't touch my face. That's how you get your wig adjusted. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't play me like that. You're going to Camp David to meet with the president. How the heck do a private citizen just go to Camp David? Should I really do it? Yes. I'm talking about asking Georgia to marry me. Yes. Even do you want me to talk you into it or out of it? Why do you need to be talked into marrying somebody? Huck finally managed to hack Paige's email. They were supposed to attend an embassy party together. So why don't you go? I... Olivia doesn't believe it, I don't know. She asked you why, you better have an answer. Yeah, Paige and I were supposed to go to the French consulate dinner. What happened? She called at the last minute and she canceled. Ariel, if there's something you're not telling me. <laughs> Ariel, you... Uh, you're not gonna get nominated for no Oscar. Why aren't you telling me? In other news. <laughs> Bring a real tear face. Hi, hello, how are you? Better. They're here. First lady came. She knows about this. Liv. Melly. How are the kids? Oh, Jerry's adjusting to White House life pretty well. Karen. She misses her friends. Hates the Secret Service. How are you? Are you dating anybody? Uh, all up in the business, really, are we? Libby. Mr. President. It's good to see you. That's the guy from Ghost. That's on. The movie Ghost. Her name is Amanda Tanner. She's 27. I've got rumors she might be talking. That's him. I have to ask. No. You've known me a long time. You know I did not fall for some young girl. I'll handle it. Consider it handled. Okay, handling it. I wonder how she's gonna do this. What's going on? Where are we? Waiting on forensics on the garden to come in. Woohoo! Paige is a whore. My name Tom Henderson. She can't. Oh my god. We have another viable suspect! Got a name. Peppermint Petty Ash. Clint, I need you to find out everything you can about an Amanda Tanner. You have an hour, and then I need you to come with me. Impressive. The hell are you standing around for? Do what you do. Amanda, it would be a mistake to think there will be no consequences to you telling lies about the press. How do you know my name? It's become hard for you to find employment. People would associate you with a sex scandal. You've had 22 sexual partners that we know. Damn! And your family. Your mother's mental illness, a psychotic break, two years at Bedford Hospital. I bet that's private. He told me he loved me. I'll give you some free advice. Hand in your resignation, then pack up your dog and your things, get in your car, and go. Man, she break a hood down. Because in this town, your career is over. You're done. Dang, she gave her the decimator. I didn't blackmail or threaten her. Might as well blackmail and threatened her. Damn, what you did? It's handled. Is handled. Man, she straight decimated homegirl. And <laughs> she in there crying. Dude. It's real. You cry? No. Well, don't let Olivia see you doing that. She doesn't believe in crying. Why did she hire me? 
She must get a hundred resumes. Why me? What about me? You're here because you worship her. You want to be her. You think if you're near her, if you stand in her light, then you'll finally do stuff that matters. Something wrong with them. Am I right? Um... Olivia Pope fixes things. That's who she is. You need fixing. I don't know your story. I don't need to know. We all have a story. Everyone in this office needs fixing. Mm. No crying. We don't cry. Ever. Yeah. I'm a gladiator in a suit. We don't cry. Ever. Put him on. I just need a second. She's talking to the President of the United States while he's live on TV. Do me a favor, turn your head a little to the left. Oh, she's good. Okay. Yeah, she's good. Thank you, Mr. President. I've got good, I've got bad, I've got ugly. The good. He has an airtight alibi. He was working as a bouncer at a club at the time of the murder, 100 witnesses. Ugly? Henderson claims that Sully knew he was sleeping with his girlfriend. Which gives Sully motive. Even uglier, gun found in the murder has Sully's prints all over it. Okay, I knew it. Told you he was guilty. Did you know Paige was sleeping with Tom Henderson? Did you know? You can't come in here. And... Yes, she can, because without her, Dude. you would definitely go into jail. Answer my questions, or you going out the door. Yeah. Told you he's guilty. Yo, my man. Wrap it all up and let's go. Let's go. But I didn't kill her. You have to believe me. Nope. Your fingerprints are on the gun. It's because I picked it up off of the floor. Why would you need to pick up a murder with C, C, my man? Woo. I don't watch enough cop shows and all that uh, criminal TV to know. Anytime there's a weapon, anything, don't touch it. Then he's a military guy. He's going to do that. Stupid. Guilty. Anybody, anybody who can say they saw Sully at the time of the murder, make his alibi stick. Live. I believe him. I don't. In a minute. Huck, did you talk to my guy? Yeah. You got it? I got it. Open it. Their engagement ring. Yes. You're bullying me. As long as I've known. Bullying you. And you know you want to marry her. We all know you want to marry her. Something ain't adding up with this. You must don't really want to get married. She liked this one. Abby like him. Amanda, I want you to give him a message. Please I quit leave. my job, okay? I did it. Now please well, give him a message. I'm telling the truth. I am. Time's up, Liv. I have a warrant. You stay out here. Nobody crosses this doorway. Get Abby on the phone. Tell her we've been invaded. Homeboy going to jail. Once on the night of the murder, Liv's got... What I tell you? Maybe not. On camera. Uh, Five hundred dollars in cash. Mm. And a pizza. Just sausage and mushroom. Yeah. Show me. Well, you could be bribed with money and a pizza. <laughs> points northeast towards Maddie's pub. Speed through. Stop. Right there. Is that Sully? Guiding. We're gonna need a copy of that. We don't have a lot of time. The police are here, so I need you to listen. You're going to jail. We were able to verify your alibi. Hmm. It's a good thing, right? You got an alibi. You make your living giving speeches for the conservative right. And you've said over and over, Paige was your best friend, not your lover. What do you got going on here? Oh, getting tent. My eyes are burning. Ow! Ow! No, didn't she? she? My eyes are burning. Friend, she knew you were gay. The two of you had a deal. You can't show that tape to anyone. I need the name of the man you were kissing. You can't show that tape and you can't have Ooh. It's your alibi. I am a hero. A hero that's on his way to jail. And gay. Honor the uniform. And I felt my knuckles raise up. All that swelling up in the chest. Tell is over. I am the deacon in And you're going to jail. What about me running for Congress one day? I can't be gay. But you and he is gay. This is who you are. This is your alibi. And he kissed that man on the stool. On the street. And then he want to fight about being gay. Murder. Gay. Some seems a little lighter than the other. Sullivan St. James. You have the right to remain silent. So he's willing to go to jail.
instead of letting them know that he's gay. Yeah, let's see how they fix this. Hey, you seen Olivia? Olivia went to the police station. I got a strange call from a girl named Amanda Tanner. What about her? She's in the hospital. She tried to kill herself. Uh-oh. We can't use the alibi. Can you leak it? He's our client. We have to do what he wants. I hate this. I have to go. George is going to be waiting for me at Sean Ree. I could cancel. We'll work on Sully. Go. Go. Okay. Thanks. Get down on one knee. Women like that. She like him. Yeah, she like him. What happened? She slashed her wrists. And he pressed sniffing around? No. No, stay with her. Olivia, you said to trust your gut. My gut says she's telling the truth. She's not. Because I know the president. She was going on and on and on about how there's this secret room off of the Oval Office where they've met and people are crazy. But them. I don't think she's crazy. Tell me why. Okay, because she tried to kill herself. She was going on and on and on about how she thought he'd come and call her sweet baby. What did you say? That he'd come if she was hurt. And he would call her sweet baby. And I was just thinking. Uh-oh, somebody lying. President lied. Well, where is he? President lied. Stephen, I can't talk right now. What's wrong? Okay, I'll be there. I'm coming. In maybe half an hour. I'm coming. I, I have to go. Libby, this is a surprise. You can see it all on her face. Something wrong. And she know you lied. We're gonna need the room, please. So you have to give the toast to the president of France in ten minutes. Maybe you can find another. We need the room. Hey, Libby. Sweet baby. Sweet baby. We're all in the Oval Office. Thanks to President Nixon, everything is recorded. He lied. Now you're trying to lie his way out of me. Because you are married. Because you are the leader of the free world and I wanted you to be a better man. Don't touch me, please. Oh, this dude is just... Come on now. Don't fall for it. He can't keep his zipper up. Don't do it. And he just unzipped his pants. Did you give him a dog? He lied. I love you. I believed you. Wow, she just smacked the president. Because I wanted to believe you. I just I just want to say that we can hear you screaming. Busted. Mm, he wasn't supposed to see that. Yeah, we got a problem. Mr. President, you want to go clean up? Sorry. Mm, you have lipstick on your mouth. This is not looking good. Mother of God. My sentiments is that. You didn't know. He tells you everything. Didn't tell me this. Because it didn't matter enough. I have to go. Wow. How are we gonna fix all this? You're in a coat closet. You can do this. That's the pain. I don't think I can. Why would you have to be talked into, convinced, prodded, pushed into marriage? I'm not. Good guy. I gotta trust my gut, and my gut is what? <laughs> Never wrong. Never wrong. You can do this. I can do this. Go. Be happy. Get some normal. So what is he gonna do? We may never know who killed Paige. She got them all. Sully, I saw that kiss. You love that man. Wow, she's good. You've been living with a secret for a really long time. I know what that's like. But the thing is, who you are, who you love, that shouldn't be a secret. And I do. Really shouldn't be an issue on who you love. You know, in 2023, it just shouldn't be. Love who you love. Just that agenda, I'm not with that. It ain't got to be all on every TV, every show, every movie, all up in your face. Just 
do your thing, but it ain't got to be just this high power political thing. I am honored to be a gay man who served my country. That was Soldier St. James, cleared of murder charges. The other soldiers are nice touch, don't you think? Soldiers standing. You, you have good ideas. Why won't she tell him she like him? You said we were the good guys. We are. Really? Is Olivia, is she one of the good guys? No. She's not one of the good guys. She's the best guy. It's not enough to say it. You gotta believe it. Gladiators. In suit. That's what I'm talking about. Gladiator in a suit. Nice work on Sully St. James. <laughs> he wants to see you. Tell him to go to hell. But she doesn't. You tell him that he better hope to God Amanda Tanner doesn't want to come forward with her story because she just became my client. You have been injured serving my country. Wow, Olivia Pope is who she says she is. Hmm. All right, that was episode one of season one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm starting to get the answer of who Olivia Pope is. She's that one. Snazzy little saucy attitude. But uh, she gets the job done. Her and her team, they're gladiators in suits. Okay, <laughs> mm, hot little show. So I'm about to go ahead and go ahead and just flow right on into episode two of season one. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. And hit your notification bell. The truck is going to roll on on into episode two. Come on. Your ticket's still good for this one. <laughs>